get distance. Now, this is an, a nice part, for example, that our abbot, for example, in the monastery also teach us, he always said, you need to be able to adjust room and time. You need to be able to learn mm. and adjust space and time, let's say. Yes. Yeah, sounds very philosophical. But space and time means, if we are in an argument, a big one, I want space first of all, so that means I have distance to mm -hmm. observe, mm -hmm. that is the space. And I want time, because time lets me think more clearly if I'm not under pressure. Mm. If you have someone that you really don't like, then vice versa, you also know exactly what to do then. Mm. If he's a friend, he or she is a friend. You always give room and time. Yeah. If you want to make enemies, you steal room and space. Mm. You don't let them move wow. and you don't give them time to react. This is how you treat enemies. Wow. You pressure them. You pressure them. You lock them in. You confine yes. them. Yeah. Because this is what it is. Wow what arises out of that situation if you put people under pressure is something that is overwhelming them. And overwhelming means your emotions are not under that's your own control, mm -hmm. which makes you vulnerable. Right. That is like the, the point behind this. So another thing to just keep in mind, no matter what type of uh, emotion it is that we are sometimes feeling is you don't take decisions while you are emotional. Next one. Mm -hmm. Don't make this. Don't make decisions while you're emotional. No. Yeah. And you know, I understand sometimes people in in certain areas, fast-paced areas, where like uh, time is money. Yeah, I don't have time to think about. Yeah, and so. Meanwhile, we really have this culture where like somebody walks in, gives me a question and expects the answer right away. And I'm always asking myself, why can't you just to some, to some questions, just say, let me think about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back to it right. tomorrow. Right. So that means sometimes there are questions you are being asked by people where you feel it puts you under pressure. But maybe think about it, why do you want to answer it right away? Mm -hmm. What's the point to give the answer right away, if some, especially if it's an important answer? I personally would prefer, if I would come up to you with a really important question, I would even prefer for you to tell me, okay, that is something I cannot just decide on the spot. Let me think about it and tomorrow mm -hmm. we're going to talk about it again. Right. And then also for me, I have no problem to say, okay, let's talk tomorrow. Right. And this is also something where nowadays it's, yeah, a lot of pressure is coming from, from these type of things mm -hmm. that unconsciously you just give answers for the sake of giving answers, whereas it would be better to just wait. Wait on it, yeah. Think about it. Speaking of, you mentioned enemies for a second ago. What is the Shaolin philosophy around enemies when you're not in an actual physical war, when you're not in combat, when you're not fighting for your life, 